Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I have quite literally one of the biggest hauls I have ever, I will ever film. I'm literally showing you everything that I have um, acquired in the last few months. Um, I have clothes, I have handbags, I have H&M bits, I have Abercrombie bits, I have dish bits, I have so many different brands. I have baby bits as well. Oh my gosh, I forgot something downstairs. Uh, I have baby bits that I want to show you. Just a few cute little outfits. Um, but yeah, there's a lot. I'm not even going to talk for long. I'm filming this video on a Sunday. Um, my in-laws have come to help out with Lyric. So hopefully, fingers crossed, I will be able to get it out on Sunday too. Because um, some of these things you can get extra discounts on, but they run out this weekend so i need to be quick anyway i'm going to stop talking oh forgot to pop my earrings in and if you're wondering about the earrings these i actually got uh, as a christmas present from jack i have had these earrings in my wish list for about two years and jack when jack asked me what i wanted for christmas i was like actually i've wanted these earrings for so long i also have the matching necklace i've had the necklace for longer and then um i wanted to get the matching earrings as well they are so lovely i will link them in the description box i'm starting off with abercrombie because i have a discount code with them so you can get so current so they're currently running an offer where you can get 15 percent off everything and then they've also given me a discount where you can get They've also given me a promotion code, um, a discount code where you can get an additional 15% off things, um, off everything. So in total, 30%. It's not quite 30% if you work out the maths, but 30%, okay? <laughs> yeah. Um, so my code is AFJOSEPHINE. They're not working with me here on YouTube, but I like to share things with you guys on YouTube because I know a lot of you love Abercrombie. And um, so, yeah. Um but it does but the discount code slash promotion that they've got going on ends tomorrow which is the 4th of march so yeah i'll link everything that i talk about today in the description box but yeah um first thing which i got from abercrombie is this beautiful cardigan the quality is insane it is so good um so it's like this thick really like it's got a lovely weight to it. It's not like really, it's not like too heavy or too thick, um, but it's got a really nice weight. So it makes it feel luxurious. Um, so yeah, I picked up this stripe cardigan. You guys know I love stripes. Um, these kind of things, this kind of, this um, cardigan is very much on trend at the moment. This cardigan tweed jacket, very much on trend. Um, I got this in a size medium i believe yeah medium with all these items i'm not sure what's going to be in stock and what's going to be out of stock um i feel like a lot of the things especially on abercrombie will have sold out but just keep stocking the website because i actually use <laughs> whenever abercrombie have a discount i usually end up buying more stuff from them um so i've actually put in i actually put in an order last night for a dress which they uh which is a um I actually put in an order for a dress um, which went out of stock in my size and then it restocked like in the middle of the day at a random time and I just quickly bought it and I used my own discount code because you know that's the kind of person that I am. Anyway, I, I styled the, um, so I styled the cardigan up with these trousers. So these are the, ooh, I, I feel like these might be called the Harper trousers. Harper, so they're in this beautiful kind of mocha chocolatey, chocolatey brown. They're it's a really nice color, very, very nice neutral color. I have a lot of trousers, but I don't have any in this kind of cool toned brown color. These are actually part of the Curve Love range, which if you know about the Curve Love range, then you need to get to know. Okay, <laughs> um, I love these. Um, they fit so well. They're so comfortable. I am such a trouser person. I love buying, I love trousers. I feel like they just, like, you can dress them up casually. You can dress them up. You can wear them for work. You can wear them for day to day. And um, I have tried quite a few trousers from different brands. Some of my favourite trousers are from H&M. However, if you want a really good pair of trousers, okay, a lot of people go to H&M Zara. 
Abercrombie is where it's at. Especially if you want something that's just going to last you and you can wear over and over again. Abercrombie, okay? Speaking of trousers, I also got a pair of black trousers as well. So these are a pair of tapered trousers. Again, these, I think, are part of their Curve Love. Oh, they're not actually. They're not part of their Curve Love, but they fit really well. Um, So they're like black and they are quite cropped on me. I'm 5'8 for your reference, 172 centimetres tall. So I'm definitely on the taller side. Um, And these trousers, I just imagine wearing them like I'm going to show you with my... um ballet flats just i think feel like in spring summer these are just going to look so good with ballet flats um or just sandals whenever abercrombie has a discount i feel like it's a really good opportunity to get those basic items they have loads of beautiful dresses and all that kind of thing but their basics in my opinion that's where it's at okay i also picked up this tweed jacket so it's like a tweed style jacket you can see there it's like cream color it's got collar on it zip detail um but then the tweed detail kind of makes it a little bit more feminine um it's kind of like a crop length as well which i love it just works really well with the black trousers which i showed you and also the brown trousers um anything high waisted the th this jacket would look really good with it's absolutely beautiful. I got a size medium, which um, a medium is just a perfect fit for me. Um, it's just such a great jacket to wear during this upcoming spring season. And if you're not too sure about like tweed jackets, if you feel like they're a little bit too feminine, like um, then I feel like this is a really good like in the middle. Um, I think the medium has sold out or it keeps coming in and out. But anyway, I'm just going to stick with the small and hope that by the time summer actually comes around, I don't know, it might properly fit. Or I might even take it somewhere that maybe they can like extend it, like add a, extend the zip a little bit. I don't know if that's something that can be done. Um, but this dress honestly fits like a glove. It fits so beautifully. It really just like hugs me in and goes out. And that's the issue. If I'd have got a medium... I feel like it wouldn't have gone in so nicely at the waist. I kind of had to decide whether I wanted my waist to be snatched or if I wanted it to not fit. <laughs> I'm not sure I made the right decision then. Um, but yeah, this dress is beautiful. It's beautiful length. Let me see what size. Did I get the long length? No, I just got the usual length. And then I also picked up this jumpsuit as well. I have a lot of things from Abercrombie. A lot of things. And then I also got this jumpsuit. Beautiful, beautiful jumpsuit. Um, I actually picked it up in a size large because I want I feel like when it comes to jumpsuits, they can't be tight. Like they they have to be a little bit loose, a little bit comfortable, okay? They have to be comfortable. So a bit of a large. I think a medium would have been fine as well. But maybe the medium was out of stock, I don't know. Um I got it in the large, in the regular length. I think this comes in a couple of different lengths as well. I just feel like this would look really good, like in spring, you pop on your favorite sandals or your favorite trainers and you're good to go. Basically, you are good to go, okay? And then a little basket bag, a little tan bag that matches the color of the shoes. Love that. I also got some of their bodysuits. So these are called their seamless body suits i got the white long sleeve version oh these the, again the quality of these is incredible i might actually maybe place another order and pick up another one of these white ones um i got it in a size small a small or a medium would have been fine the small i'd say that the small is a little bit tight um but the medium would have been fine too um i also yeah the quality of these is just phenomenal. They have this beautiful stretch. They're, they're not see-through. They're just beautiful. They kind of feel like the skims, but thicker. And then I also got the black bodysuit t-shirt as well. I love that these are bodysuits because it just means that they sit flush. They don't like bunch up. They won't ride up. Um, so I've got this black one as well. Then I also got this grey bodysuit here, which I love the bust detail here. I just think it's really, really flattering. Um, this is like in a nice um, knit material. It's really good quality. Um, beautiful grey colour. Size small. Size small again. Ugh, I just 
love it. I feel like this is very, very flattering. And then, of course, I couldn't do this video without talking about Abercrombie denim. Um, because their denim is just so good. Okay, Abercrombie denim, Abercrombie curve love denim is just incredible. The first pair that I want to show you, these are called the Relax, the 90s Relax High Rise. They look so good on the model that I was like, yeah, I need to try that too. So they're kind of, they're a pair of wide leg trousers. Um, they're high waisted, they fit so well. Nice thick denim, not uncomfortably horribly rigid. They're like soft and but they're not like stretchy, but they fit your body really well. I have small, I have a small waist, big bum. I always struggle to find jeans and Abercrombie denim is just a life saver. Honestly, get get one pair, get one pair and thank me later, okay? Um, the only thing is that you have to really be sure about your size. So I am a UK 12 and I wear a 29. Um, a 29, I got a 29 long, so yeah, if you're a 12, then a 29 would work for you as well. Then I got these white trousers, which are called the loose high rise. So these are very, very loose. These are very baggy, very loose, very laid back. Um, I feel like these would look great just with a, these, I think I started this with the black bodysuit. It needs like something tight on top because they're quite loose on bottom love these i don't really have a pair of white trousers or do i have a pair of white trousers i might do um but i don't really wear white trousers because i don't like white trousers which are skinny or tight on your thighs i just feel like it throws it just doesn't work to balance my body out i have quite big legs and i feel like white trousers just are not it but if they're loose then I'm, I'm all for that. I also have these black straight leg trousers. So basically I'm obsessed with their um, 90s straight trousers. I have the blue light, I have the light blue versions, which I think are my favorite jeans ever. The way they fit, but then I also got the black ones as well because I just, you just, you always need a pair of black jeans. Um, yeah, I got these black ones as well. Again, 29, reg I got them in a size 29 regular, which is my size. And then I got these dark denim, dark blue denim ones as well. So I've never been a fan of dark denim, dark blue denim. Well, not never. I'm not, I, I prefer light or mid wash, but I recently saw someone on Instagram styling dark denim and it looks so good and i have to say that these look really really good um yeah they're like this beautiful rich denim color they're straight leg i feel like straight leg for me is where it's at like you know how there's like different denim styles and i'm sure there might be a point in life where i'm like oh straight leg jeans are just so not in anymore but straight leg jeans are like, for me, the new mom jean. Whereas I still love mom jeans. Um, you know, people say that they're out, but who cares? I don't really care about that. Um, but straight leg for me are the new mom jeans. They're just so, they're so comfortable. They're so flattering. Um, they're like baggy, but not too wide. Skinny, but not too skinny. They're like in that middle. You get like a little bit of shape, but they're not too tight. So yeah, I also got these ones as well i love these my usual size eight regular i think that might be it for abercrombie yeah okay let's go on to h&m okay h&m i picked up the the most beautiful the most beautiful set ever okay honestly i nearly skipped on it i nearly thought no i don't need it i don't need it. oh my god i'm so happy i am so happy i got it so i got this waistcoat oh gosh why did i not button it up waistcoat um co-ord uh, i saw it on the website it was new in i i feel like every fashion content creator <sighs> tell me if you disagree i am living on websites i live on h&m i live on abercrombie i live on zara mm, not so much zara nowadays but h&m i go on the h&m website at least once a day it's like i go on right move 
at least once a day. Anyway, we're not talking about houses, we're talking about clothes. Um, yeah, I saw this waistcoat and I checked out so quickly. And do you know what? I'm so glad that I did because this is sold out. Um, so I got this waistcoat, beautiful kind of <sighs> yellow. Is it yellow? Is it neutral? I don't know how to describe this colour, but I love it, okay? It's like a soft beige yellow colour. Beautiful. I got it in a size 10. I am all for the waistcoat trend. You will see that. That is a running th theme throughout this whole haul. I am loving the waistcoat trend. Last year I was pregnant, couldn't really enjoy the trend. Before that, I think it, was, it might have been a trend a few years ago and I wasn't so into it. This year... Pff, I will be wear I will be wearing waistcoats all day every day, okay? All day every day I will be wearing them, okay? Just waiting for the weather to get right and I will be in waistcoats. So yeah, I got this one and it also comes with a matching skirt. I nearly didn't get the skirt. Also nearly didn't get the skirt. Am I happy I got the skirt? Absolutely. Absolutely. So this is like a maxi length, like um not quite a full maxi but not but definitely not a midi um lovely lovely length this is so classy i feel like i don't know i feel like this is very classy like very i don't even know what the it's reminding me of like dish like have, have you heard of the australian brand dish i've got a few bits but i'm going to show you from there from there i think it's out of stock i apologize but um stock the website like the rest of us and i'm sure you'll get it Okay, I also got, speaking of waistcoats, I also got this knitted waistcoat, waist, um, waistcoat style top. Just a really nice, very simple top. I can't remember how much it was, um, but yeah, I love it. I got it in a size small because um, it looked quite baggy on the model and I didn't want it to be baggy. I wanted it to be kind of fitted and it just fits really, really nice. So this looks nice with jeans, it looks nice with the beige skirt it looks nice with just trousers it just looks nice with everything and then speaking of H&M I'm going to show you guys a few baby bits and I also got for Lyric I'm not sure whether I'm going to 100% keep these things but I thought I'd show you anyway and then I also have some little bits from Gap from Baby Gap which I'm also going to show you um but I need to go get them because I left them downstairs um, first thing that I got Lyric is this little jumpsuit. How cute is this little jumpsuit? Like, I love baby clothes. I've been buying Lyric a lot of baby clothes because he has grown up everything. He is a big baby. He's long and he just, I didn't buy things for his current size when I was pregnant. Um, but yeah, because I, I, I didn't think that he would upgrade everything so quickly anyway i got this jumpsuit i thought it was really really cute mickey mouse i'm not the biggest fan of like loads of of cartoon clothes i'm not like dinosaurs and things like that i don't always love them there might be the odd thing here and there which i like but what i do like is disney i love disney characters i just think they're so cute and um, so yeah i picked up this this little jumpsuit for lyric i just think it's super duper adorable um he'll just wear it he'll just wear it with like a long sleeve a bodysuit underneath and i just think that's really cute and then i also got this jogger set which again i'm not too sure if i'm gonna 100 percent keep but yeah it's just mickey mouse joggers and it's a matching hoodie as well in this lovely neutral color I think it's really, really cute. And it's definitely unisex. So, you know, whether you've got a girl or a boy, I feel like this would look great in both, with both. Oh, I swear my bones are not the same after childbirth. Whew. First little outfit is this little jumper here, which just says gap at the front and it comes with matching shorts as well i don't know if you can see but the shorts are actually like i don't know what you call it like stripe it's not stripe but do you know what i mean how adorable 
Like in summer, he'll just wear this little outfit. I think that is so sweet. I got this in a size six to 12 months. I feel like that's quite a big age gap, uh, age range. Um, but I guess that's what Gap does. Um, I also got this little jumpsuit here. Oh my goodness, how cute is that? Um, again, in six to 12 months, I just think this is going to be so adorable. Um, I was just showing this to my mother-in-law and we were just saying how, we were like measuring it out in Lyric whilst he was on the floor. And I was like, do you know what? This would probably fit him now. <laughs> um, yeah, it's absolutely lovely. I think it might just, it might be a bit long on the legs. And if it is, we'll just roll it up, which I think would look really cute as well. Final thing that I got is Lyric's first denim jacket. I feel like these pieces, I will keep these pieces forever because like the Mickey Mouse denim, like the Mickey Mouse jumpsuit, the Gap denim jacket these are pieces which i'm going to keep forever because and then hopefully like if lyric decides to have children his children can wear them um i just feel like things like this you pass on because how cute is this it is so adorable like oh ah <sighs> like i said earlier i've been buying lyric a lot of baby clothes and um, these this is literally a fraction of what I bought him. I've literally bought him a whole new wardrobe because nothing was fitting. Um, but if you are shopping for baby clothes, head into your local Marks and Spencers store, which has clothing. Um, no, no. Head into your local Marks and Spencers because they currently have a 50% sale at the moment. And I managed to get Lyric so many clothes. I've, I don't need to buy anything else now because uh, I got him so many different outfits. I got him outfits which were like four pounds each, bodysuits which were like five pounds, like for a pack of three, just like head into store because I mean, I, I'd say go online, but when I went online, everything in like lyric sizes, like in most sizes, apart from like newborn were out of stock. But yeah, if you have a Marks and Spencer's close by, head in there because I honestly, the till like people were looking at me like girl really i got like i, I spent like a, i got like 200 pounds worth of clothes for obviously like half off um but yeah i got him a full new wardrobe which is crazy how babies can literally get a full new wardrobe for 100 quid i could literally spend 100 quid on a t-shirt <laughs> let me show you guys some bits from dish um dish is an australian clothing brand and they create some of the most beautiful pieces. I treat myself earlier on in the, I say earlier on in the year, we are early in March, but at the beginning of the year, I treat myself to a beautiful dress from Dish. And then I also recently got this khaki version of the dress, which I already have. So this one has the, if you wanna, if you wanna see what I'm talking about, I'll link my previous haul in the description box. This dress, beautiful quality impeccable okay you are paying for what you get i don't get me wrong i love h&m not too sure about zara anymore you haven't seen a zara haul on my page for a very very long time because i just i don't love their autumn winter stuff and i feel like their summer stuff the quality is extra bad every single year um H&M I still love because I feel like you can get some really good things on there but Zara it's just not really been doing it saying that you'll probably see me do a Zara haul at some point <laughs> anyway but yeah I haven't shopped on their months even when like they had their sale in like their winter sale I wasn't interested and their baby clothes I, I, I don't know why I feel like if you have a girl then Zara baby is really good but if you have a boy nothing Thing really appeals to me i think i saw one outfit which i liked the other day um and their sizes are really small anyway i'm not talking about zara i'm talking about dish picked up this dress beautiful cannot wait to wear it in spring this is very much a spring dress with little sandals with ballet flats your little time bag your basket bag this dress would look so good with so good with and if you're wondering like the dress has just the most beautiful amount of weight. It just flows impeccably. Is it worth the price? 
absolutely, absolutely. I also got this linen waistcoat. <laughs> Um, yeah, I got the linen waistcoat as well. This one I got in a size 10. Uh, it's a Aussie 10 US 6 EU 38 UK 10. Um, the only th thing that I would say with this is that it has quite a boxy fit. And if I'd have known that it would be would have been such a boxy fit, I would have gone for a size 8. Which I'm never an eight, especially not on top. Um, but it does have quite like a casual, boxy fit. It's beautiful. The quality of it is lovely. Um, and again, I just feel like this would look really good with the with everything, with jeans, with denim skirts, with that beige yellow skirt that I showed you previously from H&M. And then the final brand I'm going to show you is two. Um, so two is Sainsbury's. Um, own brand clothing range and let me just start with the waistcoat because I might as well just go with them look at it look at it and it might not look like much just being held up but I picked up this beautiful uh, waistcoat set so it comes with the waistcoat and the trousers cannot wait to wear this I think I got the trousers in a long length so I got a 12 long they have an elasticated back, which you go, if you have a small waist and big booty, you're going to appreciate that. Um, yeah, it just looks so good. I feel like this would look really even better in summer um, with sandals and just a cute little bag, basket bag, leather bag. And then I also got this denim skirt as well, which I love the feel of this denim skirt. I've tried on quite a few denim skirts and a lot of them are very rigid. I have a thing about rigid denim like why are you trying to make us suffer anyway i got this um denim midi maxi quite a long length denim skirt um again i really liked the denim skirt trend last year but by the time this started fitting me i was already pregnant and um quite it just wasn't comfortable so i feel like this is a year which i'm actually really going to enjoy them this has a nice like subtle stretch it's not like stretchy to a point where it feels cheap but it has a stretch to it so it makes it feel comfortable um yeah love this denim skirt really really love it and again i got it in a size 12 fits really well and then the very last clothing piece which i'm going to show you we are at 30 minutes i did well um is this boiler suit um again dark rich denim color honestly when i tried this on like i saw it so um i saw it and i was like mm, i really like it tried it on and i was like i love it i absolutely love it i just love the way that it fits it's very casual i think i styled it with like my black loafers with a black bag you can style it with um, sandals as well okay I have three handbags which I'm going to show you one which I showed you in a uh, vlog but I thought I'd just show you here anyway Polen Syme I think that's what it's called I have had this I have had this bag in my on my wish list for a very very long time I am such a handbag person if you know this about me then you, I'm sure you already know if you know me then you probably already know this about me I'm a huge handbag person but I feel like I haven't bought like a super expensive handbag in about two years um, just not really been that interested life has just been different and I feel like I'm very content with my collection when it comes to like super high end bags but the mid level contemporary there's just so much going on in that like range so many brands and it excites me way more than like brands like Hermes, Chanel, Dior, Bottega, Gucci, YSL those brands that just aren't exciting me as much whereas Polen and the other two brands I'm going to show you really are so like I said, I've had this bag on my wishes for a long time. Um, one thing that's actually been putting me off buying it was because there was a very, like, you couldn't just buy it. You had to be put on a wait list. So um, at the end of January, I thought, Do you know what? I'm just going to put myself on the wait list. Um, and it said it was going to come at the end of February. Anyway, it came mid-Feb. It took, like, I think I was, o I was only on the wait list for, like, two weeks. It wasn't even that bad. Um, but yeah, I have not stopped using this bag 
it is a mummy bag. I, I put all of Lyric's essentials, his nappy, his extra extra clothing. When I don't want to take a nappy bag, I just shove everything in here. Then I have a beautiful um, bag for me and him as well. It has short straps. It has long straps. And just the look of it, it is so worth it. I absolutely love it. I cannot believe it. I'm like, why did I wait so long? I love it. And then the other two bags, which I don't think I've showed. Oh, I started to film a vlog, but I never, I just scrapped the vlog. Um, I got this beautiful bag from Demelier. Um, I have seen, I've, ha I've seen this bag around for quite a while. And I'll be completely honest, it wasn't on my radar. And then I met up with one of my friends who's also a, follow, a fellow content creator. Met up with her to shoot some outfits. And I was like, hang on a minute. Just, just, just show me that bag. And it was seeing it in person that made me fall in love with this bag. The quality, the feel, the look. It's very much giving me Celine Triumph. No, 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 not Triumph. What was the bag called? If you know designer bags, I'm sure you'll know which Celine bag this reminds you of. It was a very popular bag that was about 10 years ago, I'd say now. This is definitely giving me that vibe. The leather is really thick, really good quality leather. Craftsmanship is just, oh gosh, it is like, if you told me this bag was like £2,000, I'd be like, yeah, of course it is. And it's not, it's a, it's a quarter of that, which don't get me wrong, it's still a lot of money. But yeah, it's beautiful. And then the very final thing that I'm going to show you, which is also a handbag. Look at it. Look at this beauty of a bag. Um, this is from a brand called Cafune. Cafune? Cafune? I don't really know how to say it. Um, but I think they are a Japanese... I feel like they're Japanese. Um, I feel like it's a Japanese brand. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, and they very kindly gifted me this bag. Sorry, the bag from Demelia was also gifted as well. Um, they very kindly sent me this bag. And this bag is giving me Hermes Kelly, but better. I know. I can't believe I just said that. I've never been a huge Kelly girl. Just the Kelly bag has never really appealed to me for it to cost that much money. Um, but this bag is just beautiful. It looks like the Kelly to me, but it's better, in my opinion. I love the closure. I love the closure. The leather is this beautiful, smooth, luxurious leather. It is so luxurious. I'll show you my husband it, and he was like, wow, that bag is so nice. Um, yeah, I, I show him all my bags, and he pretends to be interested. Um, but he actually was interested in this bag. Um, so what I love about this bag is like it's black here, but on the inside, it's actually like a light tan leather. It's the same on the inside as well. It has a back zipper, which you can pop your phone at the back. And it's, it's got a, a crossbody strap. This bag is beautiful. Cafune, Cafune, I just want someone to tell me how to say the, the name of this brand because I don't like pronouncing things wrong. But this brand has been on my radar for a long time. Um, so I'm really happy that they reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to try one of their bags. Um, because yeah, I love it so, so much. It comes in so many different colors, a few different sizes. It has feet on the bottom. The quality of this just reminds me of like the vintage Hermes Kelly's. Like if you don't have Hermes money, the Cafoon, Cafune, um bag is just, in honestly, it's incredible. I love it so much. Um, anyway, I'm going to stop rambling. Thank you so, so much for watching this video. I'm going to try my hardest to edit it and get it up today. If not, tomorrow. And yeah. I'll catch you all in my next video. Bye.